Good morning, Endurance friends. Matt Mossman, the endurance guru over at Endurly, coming at you with another endurance knowledge bomb. So I'm only gonna do one take of this video because I really just don't wanna clean up that mess I made over here. Uh, from previous videos, we all know that consuming a carbohydrate-based sports drink during endurance exercise uh, can enhance performance. But what if I were to tell you that you could take that same sports drinks, you could drink it, swish it around your mouth without swallowing it, and you could still get some cool uh, endurance enhancing benefits. Would you call me A, a liar, two, a zealot, or would you say three, or C, Matt, I wanna know more about this. Let's just assume the answer is uh, C for right now. So what we're gonna talk about today is uh, what you call a carbohydrate mouth rinse. And it's, it's exactly what it sounds like. Uh, you have a carbohydrate, carbohydrate solution, you put it in your mouth, swish it around, and you spit it out. Now, as disgusting as that sounds, uh, there's actually some pretty cool research behind it, behind it showing it does work to enhance endurance performance. For example, uh, the classic study here is where the researchers took a group of cyclists and they had them do a uh, 40 kilometer time trial. One group of cyclists got the uh, carbohydrate mouth rinse and the other group got a placebo. Now during the 40 uh, kilometer time trial, the, the cyclist who received the carbohydrate mouth rinse uh, did it about every five minutes, swished the solution around their mouth for about five seconds and spit it in the bowl uh, without swallowing any of it. Um, and then the placebo group basically did the same thing, but they weren't getting this carbohydrate mouth rinse. Uh, at the end of the study, the, the researchers crunched all the data, and it's actually pretty amazing what they found out. They found out that the group who did the carb mouth rinse were over a minute faster than the placebo group. Um, and there's a lot of other studies out there that has demonstrated this as well in exercise lasting from 30 minutes up to about 75 minutes. Uh, which it's a good strategy for this duration of races, but any longer than that, this uh, carb rinse uh, method may not be the best of strategies, and I'll, I'll tell you here why in a second. Now, where this really gets weird um, with this whole carb rinse uh, method is from a physiological perspective, it makes absolutely zero sense why it would enhance performance. One, because your body has enough muscle glycogen to get you through a race lasting 60 minutes or maybe up to like 90 minutes without having to consume any kind of carbohydrate whatsoever. And two, any kind of carbohydrate that you did consume in exercise or racing less than an hour, uh, by the time it was broken down and delivered to the muscles as glucose uh, to provide any performance benefits, your exercise would be done. So the carbohydrate really has uh, from a physiological perspective, it, like I said, it makes no sense. So what, what the hell is going on with this carb uh, mouth rinse thing? Um, it's actually pretty interesting. What the researchers think is that when you swish that carbohydrate solution around in your mouth, there's a receptor in your mouth that signals the brain that, well, food is on the way and that just sends some kind of response to the body that gives it a quick spurt of energy or uh, what they think is reduces the perception of effort or how hard um, the exercise themes. I, I kind of liken it to if you get done with a big long run or ride and you eat a candy bar, you have that immediate effect of feeling better while actually no carbohydrate um, is into your system. So carb mouth rinse, very, very interesting method and can be effective uh, for exercise lasting 60 to 90 minutes. Uh, now to circle back around, I wouldn't use this strategy if you're going over an hour of exercise, whether you're training or racing, because at some point your body cannot be tricked any longer and it's gonna say, hey, you big dummy, you need to eat some carbs to keep uh, glucose up and be able to keep on cranking away. So the carb mouth rinse strategy would seem to work best for exercise uh, lasting underneath an hour. Now let's go on to the next point. Like, wh when would this be an effective strategy to incorporate into a training regimen? I mean, I can think of a, a few circumstances where carb mouth rinse would be beneficial. One is that if you're the type of person who wakes up first thing in the morning and needs to get out of the door within five minutes before your kids come up to you and start saying, Daddy, wipe my butt. Daddy, get me breast. Blah, 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 blah. But in that case, you probably want to start drinking. But again, if you're the type of person that heads out the door first thing in the morning, 
maybe try to take that sports drink, take some performally as well, uh, swish the carbohydrate sports drink around in your mouth for about five seconds and spit it out and head out for your run. So that's one circumstance I can see it used in. Another circumstance is like if you can absolutely not stomach any food or drink leading up to your race, um, a carbohydrate mouth rinse uh, might be a good idea. And on the same token too, if you're racing underneath an hour and you kind of want to wet your whistle and you feel like you might need a little bit more energy or you're coming in fasted, um, a carbohydrate mouth rinse might work well in that circumstance too. Um, and then things for like OCR racers, it would be kind of an interesting theory to test out like in a, in a Spartan sprint or more of a sprint series to have, I don't know if you guys have aid stations or carry like a little flask with a carbohydrate mouth solution, just swish that real quick and spit it out. And you could even maybe get a competitive advantage in that, just like spray it in your, your competitor's face, but play fair, that wouldn't be nice. So that's really the circumstances where I could see a carb mouth rinse being beneficial. So there you have it. Sounds really disgusting, but the carb mouth rinse seems to be pretty effective uh, for exercise, like I said, lasting from 60 to 90 minutes. So uh, if you want to learn more about this, I'm going to post a, a more thorough article here on the blog soon about the carb mouth rinse, and we're going to go into a few more studies um, that have looked at this. So if you really want to geek out, head over to www.endurelite.com, click on the learn section, and then we'll go to the Endurelite blog where you'll find that article and a ton of other articles, uh, all endurance, nutrition, training, and supplementation related. So until next time, my endurance friends, Stay fuel, stay focused, and stay fast.